It is midnight. I have a bird on my shoulder and I'm going to show you how to take a SketchUp model and turn it into two-dimensional DXF files that we can use to cut out pieces on our laser engraver. So let's grab a file we already have. I'll teach you how to do this in another lesson. Right now we've got a box we've made and we can look around. We can see it as a five-sided box. I've left the box back off for some reason. Right now we just need to know that there are five pieces that we're going to cut on the laser engraver. There's a couple things we need to do. First of all, in the view or the display panel here, we want to make sure it's this box right here is checked that says hide rest of model. What that means is anytime I double click on a group, everything else goes away. And then we can go around our model and we can just make sure that each one of those pieces is properly trimmed so that the joinery is correct. We want to make sure there's no overlaps there. Okay, the next thing we want to do is look up in the Scenes panel right here, right above the sunglasses. And we're going to use a mode we haven't used yet. We're going to switch to Parallel Projection. So what that means is when we're looking at it right now, these lines seem to disappear off into the horizon. So as, it's as, as if we're looking at it normally. In Parallel Projection, however, these lines remain parallel. It looks really goofy like this, but for what we're doing, this is what we need to have. So we want to go through our box one side at a time. So to do that, we'll edit a group by double clicking on it, and then we'll select one face. And then what we wanna do is we wanna look straight down at this. So I'm gonna right click, or on a Chromebook, it's a double finger tap, and we wanna choose the selection that says Align View. And it's gonna look right at that. And notice the horizon line is even with the bottom of the box. Okay, so this is the exact piece we want to cut. Then we're going to go to our export, up here, export, and we're looking for a DXF two-dimensional. That's a drawing exchange file. That's a universally recognized file. We're gonna to go to a 2D, your model must be saved. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. And then we're gonna look right here as a couple things we need to do. First of all, we wanna make sure this is full scale one-to-one. -one. So whatever we said for our dimensions on the project will be what ends up in our DXF. Um, the AutoCAD version really doesn't matter because we're doing pretty simple stuff here. And export. Now in SketchUp, it's using a cloud-based export, so nothing's going to pop up down at the bottom right here. Ignore that. That was from when I was testing earlier. Okay, so that's sitting off in the cloud somewhere. So we can go around our drawing now, and we're going to do the same thing. Oh, look, it's ready. I'm going to do all five pieces first, though. So we've got the front. Let's go ahead and do this. Same steps. Double-click on it. Select a face. Align view and export DXF 2D. Full scale. All right, deselect that. Let's go to the opposite side. Double click to edit group. Select once to edit the face. Align the view and export. Notice it defaults to full scale each time, so we can just click export and go. And the top, select the face, align the view, file export, DXF 2D. And you can see in the background it's already showing that those are done in the cloud. Export. And our last one down here on the bottom. Double click, select the face, align the view, and export. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear my bird talking over here. All right, once we've done all six of those, uh, I always like to go back and put this on perspective projection just so it looks normal again. And it shows that it's all ready. Now, this is going to disappear, so I don't want us to get tied to that. Let me show you where to find those exports now. We click up on our Home button and go to Home. Over here on the left panel, we have Imports and Exports. And there's my whole list right there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, that's that practice one I did, so we'll ignore that right there. And notice as I hover over these, I get a download arrow, so I can just go and click on each one. And 
and it'll be right there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five DXF files ready to send. So when you're ready for those to be cut, those are the files that you send to me in an email. And I'll put those onto the program that runs the laser cutter. And then when we're back in school, you guys will be doing this for real. So there you go. SketchUp model to DXF files. We are done. And I'm going to bed because it's after midnight, you guys.